we're back. Thank you so much for checking out our reaction video. My name is Chris. My name is Sam. And we're from a band called Offset Era. And we are reacting to a new band today that we have never heard before. And so new to us. New to us, completely. It was one of your suggestions on one of our videos. I can't remember which. I do scour the comment through all of our videos very thoroughly. So I do see everything that you guys write. And fortunately, I don't have time to respond to everybody. But I do look up all of your suggestions. I, I try to weigh our options and just try to pick out things that I think that I will enjoy or, or Sam will enjoy so that's how that's done if i haven't picked your video yet i'm probably getting around to it just keep bugging us about what yeah. you want us give to us, do give us some time we'll, yes. we'll get to it so and the more i see things the more i will uh, remember to try them out and look them up i think the comment was on this one was that holy crap just wait till they hear this band and i think that was the comment and then okay. there was a ton of different and then after they said they said you got to check out this band I think they said something about how, t how technical they are. It's a three-piece band. That's what it was. I was mentioning that on a BA. I hope I didn't screw that up too bad. If, <laughs> if and when, just so you know, if and when we do mispronounce any band names or any uh, member names, we sincerely apologize. We you know do not intend to come across as offensive or ignorant in any capacity. It's just that Japanese isn't the easiest language to comprehend. As in our traditional sense, when we bring someone new onto the channel, we like to look them up and learn a little bit more about the band before we check them out. So that's what we're going to do. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. So I think the band's called S Soko Nar Ninar. Ninar, I don't think you're supposed to say the U. Obviously, you see it in the, in the title, and I will put it in the description, and I will also put a link. Hopefully, most of the people checking out this will know who this band is, but it looks like Soko Ninyu. Ninar. Soko Ninar. So Soko, Soko Ninar. Let's just go with that. What, what do you know about them? They're a, ja they're a rock band formed in Osaka in 2011. I'm intrigued by the uh, by the notion of, of a three-piece having a reputation for for technical prowess like that yeah you don't really see that too often there's no. um i mean there's a couple of western power trios that i can think of that are renowned for for their technical prowess and their musicality you know bands like uh like super like a super group like the winery dogs is a good example of a modern rock band in that in that regard rush i think they were like the forefathers of <laughs> the technical-esque power trios yeah i was gonna i was gonna mention that too doesn't really say uh, say too much about any sort of biography. Just a series of mini albums and a couple of singles. So we are trick. And <laughs> again, I'm very sorry. I <laughs> honestly don't even want to try to pronounce. I want the, them to be able song. to at least know which one I'm referring to. Um, if you happen to not be able to see the title for whatever reason, it's Tenno Hira D O Duar. <laughs> it's their music video. All right. 3.5 million views in five years holy crap that's a lot okay some comments here holy crap these guys are just over the top crazy good musicians their synchronizations in their singing is cool and the guitar player with those crazy solos and the bass complimenting the guitar with her cool strumming and the drummer is just crazy and top-notch crazy good overall 10 out of 10 band from what I saw in this video. I think that's all we I think that's all that needs to be said. Uh, hopefully. I don't know why Japanese music is very unique. I think all music is unique. It depends though. You know, I think there's a lot of bands that probably try to jump on a trend. Yeah. Let's do this thing. Yep. Three minutes, sixteen seconds. I got my seconds. headphones first time that time. So it's a fairly shorter song com compared to some of the other Oh yeah, three seen. minutes. So maybe we'll it sounds like we'll be analyzing, so Maybe it won't be that That's, long. Uh, but uh, apologize if we pause too much. We like to explore. We are musicians after all. So when we see something technical or interesting, we're going to We can take the out. time to appreciate it. Yeah. So, all right. Let's flip over to our beautiful corner here. Yep. And thank you so much for watching. Here is this right here. <laughs> and here we go. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I love that. Oh, her tone is so good. I was just about to say that. Her tone okay. is amazing. Okay. That okay. bass <laughs> tone is amazing. It, okay. It's so powerful. It's a, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you what it is. I just saw just a little bit of that bass. That is a Fender jazz bass. Mm -hmm. It sounds like a Fender jazz bass. If I'm wrong, everyone can laugh at me. I love that tone. Fender guy through and through. Here we go. 
I'll, I'll back it up because it's just yeah. a short song. Let's just start from the beginning. The bass. Oh my god, I can tell we're gonna just be geeking out a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Okay, here we go. He's going from... Oh, my God. Did you hear all the stops? Yeah. They're all in... It's all in random places. And then they cut the... Oh, my... Oh, my God. There's so much going on here. Let's go back a little bit. Oh. Oh, the tapping? I didn't even well, see so that the, the first part. To the, to the choppy corn, to the... Yes, yes. This song's already going places. Oh, I love that. That sounds so good. Love it. Oh, they sound good together. It. I think it is a jazz bass. Yeah, it is. It definitely is a jazz bass. I don't know if I can see it. Okay, sorry guys. We'll do it one more time here. Yeah. Yep, definitely is jazz. What timing was that? What timing was that? Did you hear that? I did. What the heck? What was that? I'm going to go back a little bit further here so we can kind of get acquainted here. Here we go. It's like they're playing backward or something. It. Oh. It's so weird. It's like it almost out of time, but it melted my brain a little bit. How? 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 Oh my god. Here we go. Oh my god! doing that what was she like what kind it's, of she's tap she's like tapping it's like it's like tap like you can go a little further back it doesn't look like she's like using her thumb yes yeah, she's 
and then using our other finger or something. That is wild. Oh! Holy what shit! What the hell was that? Oh my god, my mind is being blown right now. Yeah. I have never heard anything like this. I mean, it, I've heard punk. It's got punk feel. I've never seen anyone use a use a technique like that yeah, when it comes to thumb. tapping on and the then, bass. See her finger; it's like curled around. It's almost like she, it's almost like she's getting ready to you know slap and pluck the strings. You know the way the way your it hand, looked her like she was positioned. pushing down on the fretboard too. Yeah, but I, don't I mean know. most most uh, most times I've seen bass players you know tap on the neck. You know it's the same way a guitar player would do it. Right. You know never never this kind of That's never strange. this way. She's got a definite style. I love the sound of that jazz bass. That is really, really Uncle cool. Jazz bass. Here we go. Let's go back a little bit for you. Yeah. Here we go again. I love his picking parts. Ah! Take it so. The, uh, all the stop, all of a sudden stops and go start starts and stops and everything. God. Oh my god! Oh my god! I have never heard anything like that. Yeah. Okay, so I think oh. we can safely say both of our minds have been blown. <laughs> oh, it comes right out of the gate with the sick Fender bass tone, the thundering drums, the way that he has the to the toms tuned. It definitely like has a rumble to it. So when there was one section toward the end where he was just doing a very busy tom pattern and it just sounded like rumbling. It sounded so good. Yeah. The vocals are great. I can't even really... I think the vocals may have been like the least impressive part of it. Not to say that they weren't good. It's just that there was so much timing going on. So there much busy so drumming. Much, there was so much going on in the music itself between yeah. all the starts and the stops and all the... The licks? Yeah. So many licks. Yeah. Licks for days. <laughs> And then there was that part where they both did that tapping pattern together. Oh my god! That, I, I'm probably gonna have to go back and watch that again, just I, just because it's the technical prowess is just. I gotta uh, get better. Oh my gosh, it's so great! If you guys like that reaction, please suggest the next one for this. I let us know the next one. I see a couple here, but I want to experience those with you as a family. We're in a band called Offset Era. If you happen to like uh, this, <laughs> I'm not, ours wasn't to this level, but we do have a lot of songs that uh, have a lot of changes and catchy choruses and stuff and heavy parts and stuff. So check out our YouTube. Check out all the rest of our videos. We are on Facebook. If you wanna, Instagram. If you like our music, please check it out on Spotify. We are releasing an album soon toward the end of May. That should be out hopefully right around at the end of May. Hopefully we'll be also revealing video, the artwork for the album, and all that fun stuff. Shows. Hopefully we'll get some shows. We'll get more again. shows. We'll get all plenty right. more shows soon. Well, that's it. That's the end of this reaction. I want to thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you like the channel. Uh, it really helps us grow. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you for choosing Offset Era. Bye. Peace and love.